If we don't get what we want, one way or the other, whether it's through you, through a military, through anything you want to call, I will shut down the government. Okay. And I'm going to shut it down for border security. But we security. believe you. This temper tantrum that he seems to throw will not get him his wall, and it'll hurt a lot of people because he will cause a shutdown. He says, oh, we can pass it in the House, his bill right now in the House. He does not have the votes in the House to pass whatever his agenda is with that wall in it. So the rhetoric now heating up. You watch it, the deadline to avoid a partial government shutdown only nine days away. With me now, Ohio Republican Jim Jordan serves on the Judiciary and Oversight Committee. Sir, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Fine. Partial you shutdown, too. maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. What do you think of where it stands today? The president, I think, was clear. He's going to fight for what he told the American people he was going to do when they elected him in 2016. It's the, probably the single biggest promise we made the voters uh, in that election. So let's stand firm and get it done. And um, I do think Nancy Pelosi is wrong. I do think there are the votes in the House, uh, House Republicans, to pass the $5 billion for the border security wall. And we should do it as soon as possible. Okay. That's a very important point. Will the House Republicans pass it and hand it off to the Senate? Because at yeah, that point, you, pretty have this, you, you would have the debate cornered, would you not? Well, th th we need to have the debate. You're, that, that's the fundamental question. We can't just say, oh, well, we don't think they're the votes. you got this crazy 60-vote rule in the Senate, so we're just going to forfeit, not even engage in the debate, not even try. We have to try. We have to have the debate. I think if we stand firm, we can get it done. After all, this is what the president's proposing is just common sense. We need a border security wall. We need to reform our asylum laws. It's, it's obvious this whole caravan issue has highlighted that and underscored that. So let's just do what is good common sense policy. And there's only one vehicle left to get it done. You got to jump on the train that's going to go all the way to the station. And that train is, this, is the appropriation bill, the funding bill. So the president has said, we're going to put it on that bill. He's going to stand firm. And that is exactly the right thing to do. Here is Lindsey Graham dipping back in the history. He said the following. Watch. And here's what's so hypocritical. In February of this year, 44 Democrats, including Schumer, voted for a bill that had $25 billion for a wall. In 2013, uh, Schumer helped create a bill that I was part of that had $8 billion for a wall, $42 billion for secure, securing the border uh, in other ways. So they're just, they want Trump to lose more than they want the country to win. What do you think of that, sir? He went on to say, I'm going to stick by the president. He talked about liberal arrogance. I've had enough of it. Take it on, yep. stare it down, see what happens. Yeah, exactly right. Senator Graham is right on target. Uh, remember, they used to be for actually common sense policy, building a border security wall, getting control of our southern border. Now they're for open borders. Now they're for abolishing ICE. And remember, their leader of their party in 2016, Secretary Clinton, she talked about a borderless hemisphere. So they have changed, and a lot of it is about just what Senator Graham said. They're just against anything the president is for. But here's the, here's the important thing. The American people are for this. This makes good common sense. So let's put it on the bill. Let's send it to the Senate. Let's have the debate. And in the end, let's win. All right, one more thing you have here. You, you want to insert $5 billion in the wall funding. You also want to have catch and release by reforming the asylum laws. Yeah. How, how would you do that? Why is that important? Well, it's important because the, the whole caravan issue is underscored. This, this, is, this is critical. Uh, ICE agents will tell you 85 to 90 percent of the people who come here seeking asylum aren't legitimate asylum seekers. But they get here, there's the catch and release, they never show up for their hearing. You have to reform that to deal with this whole caravan concept that we've been watching unplay or, or, or unfold over the last several weeks here in the country. So those two things... Common sense, those two things address the problem. Those two things are what we have to fight for in the bill. The most important, of course, though, is the $5 billion for the wall. Do you think Republican leadership agrees with you in the House? I, I, th I think we're at a point where we have to do it, uh, whether they agree with us or not. I do think they, they, they understand we need a wall. I think Mr. Scalise, Mr. McCarthy have been clear about this. So let's put it on the bill, the one that has to pass, the funding bill next week. Let's put it on that, and let's, let's, let's have that debate in the United States Senate. Let Senator Graham stand up and say this is the right thing to do, and we'll get it done. Somehow it seems to get Congress moving when you look at the calendar, and you've only got sure a few days to go, and that's what you're up against. Sir, come on back, okay? Jim Jordan, Republican you're from welcome. Ohio. We'll Thanks, see how it goes. Thank you for your time today.